Matrix, that's for sure. Yeah, you know, you've seen some of them on the on But the people bus. think of Seattle, the first and second they think of Kurt Cobain. The first people think of, oh, Seattle, Jimi Hendrix. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. okay. Well, yeah. It's pretty yeah. good. Even though he didn't spend that much time in it, so Just out. a little bit of miserable time Just a bit, yeah. Yeah. But, but, but Seattle was smart enough to adopt it. We said, we'll have a little bit of that. I actually have a house in Staten Island. Yeah, nice. So you are the only person I have to know. I know one girl who lives in Staten Island. No, it's Art. like if, you, if you're in the right area, it's just nice. It's like New York. Depends where you are. Anywhere in New York. But it's the ferry. Are you right? Sometimes I get the ferry. Sometimes I get a car. Okay. It's not a big deal, really. It's, especially as I live actually very close to the ferry, which means very close to the bridge. It just goes in there. It's from downtown New York. 35 minutes to work out. That's, that isn't a pain at all. It just sounds like a long way away because of the water. But right. even the ferry trip's only about 20 minutes. Right. So. And how long have you been there? Oh, well, I've had a, a house there after a long time. When I wanted to buy a house, it was finally paid off the IRS. I mean, if I wanted to get a decent house, I couldn't get one. I checked her out and thought, she's got some credentials. Doesn't really need to be doing this. Do we make, it, make enough money off her songwriting? Yeah. Uh, you know, it doesn't really, she does it because she wants to So, but she's a pure spirit. I spent a couple of hours this afternoon photographing her. We had a lot of fun. She's actually, uh, she's, well, she's like being with a little boy. That's just so charming. But I mean, it's got a certain, you know, she has this boyish charm about her, but it's not that it's not female as well, but it, but it's, it's that thing, um, some ladies are more, you're definitely more fat, and some ladies are more like little boys, so it's, you know, they, I mean, from where I'm standing, they both qualify, there's no one like this, you know, we, are not, we do not, however, she is of that certain, that little boy thing. She looks like bloody Bob Dylan. She does. Blonde on blonde. I think she and she like said Bob somebody say talk she was super more talking about. She said, oh you keep channeling Bob Dylan. <laughs> but then she had the shades on for most of the time. And then the, hair. Yeah, yeah. And then the scuff boots and right. the time. You know, she's um, but she's very I find her very attractive. I mean oh. interested in she's totally cute. She right? likes other things. Yeah. But but <laughs> as a but I found her uh, very attractive as a, as, a, as a subject, so I was, uh, uh, and, as, and as a person, it's just really, uh, she's got some street in her, although she's got many really street, but it's interesting, she's just something I found her very interesting. No, but she's sexy. She's sexy. Yeah. She's sexy. I mean, yeah. she is. She she's, is. That's the last thing. She's really sexy to me. She's not interested in that. But, she, but I think she does have a certain sexual charm yeah. that appeals to men as well. It's that power she has. She's, she's totally... You can tell she's in control she's, of her Well, she's the real thing is, and not to knock anybody, some people are singers, some people are and some people are artists. Now she can also sing and perform, but she's an artist first and foremost. That was the way of Bob Dylan is an artist first. The way certain Lou Reed is an artist first. The way certain people are artists first. And, uh, and she has that kind of, and that kind of presence. So I, um, she's unique. I like her. She's not going to be on a fucking American Idol because they wouldn't know what the fuck to do with her. You know, she's not cheesy. No, she's Doesn't, not. So she does not peddle cheese. Right, she's totally genuine. No, yeah. she's not. I mean, there's only hey, a bit of cheese. Can be fabulous. I've put no <laughs> judgment on anything. Or just, it's purely descriptive. The love of American Idol is fucking cheese. If you love
cut cheese. I'll, I'm a bit more like I'll photograph cheese, especially for money. No, for money. Yeah. There's a lot of things I'll do for money. <laughs> I don't. Have, but, but this one I'll photograph anyway. Yeah. I mean, as it happens, I'm getting paid for it. But, but, but it's a long way to go. But I would. You go, no, so does she stick out from your recent, your recent assignments? Well, like, do you come in and get? She it? sticks out from any assignments. Totally I didn't really come across a girl. I mean, Joan Jett, yeah. Chrissy Hine. Yeah. Because Joni has that boy thing too, that girl boy thing. <laughs> but this was, this one's like a like an elf. And she's interesting because her pipes are that. This, the singing voice she has is like soul. It's a mix. It's like sort of Jeff Buckley with some soul. It's fascinating. Got a big voice. Great, big, beautiful voice. It's girly. So what do you think about that? What do you think about getting photographed yourself? Do you, are you comfortable? Is it good? Well, it's not so much it's good, it's not like it's doing me done. It's okay, it's plausible. But I, I've had it done a lot, especially in recent years, so I think it's part of the job. I mean, do you, she, she doesn't like being photographed. Her photos are beautiful. Unless she had a good time. I'm sure you did a good job. I'm sure you killed her. Well, so, so what's that like? Love. Is it, I mean, I've seen it, of course I've seen it. It's like right? a little love affair. Is it like, are you That's, making an icon? Are you, your image is going to help, right? Uh, who knows? Letting her do her own thing, or are you making her do something? But it's like, it's, um, it, you know, it's a communication. I like it when it's a communication. It doesn't have, have to be deep or anything. It's, it's about the energy. If you get a communication, however you get it, then it shows in the picture. It can be a quiet picture or a loud picture. It can be colourful, it can be moody, it can be, you know, it can be any, all these different things. I don't know if you know my work, yeah. but, oh, it's totally. fair, I, but it's pretty, for, if, I, if I look at it, I go, of course. I don't know if I can really strictly tell a style over, but you know, I have a, a repertoire, I believe, you do. a certain place I came from. This I shot, fed. this I shot, I shot like it was shooting for like Bob Dylan in 1965, before I even picked up a camera, so that's how I shot. <laughs> when I was 19, I shot Sid Banner, so you can figure that one. Yeah, that's incredible. That was the time after Pink Floyd. I, I love that whole New York scene that you covered too. But yeah, well, and London, London, New York. I mean, that's mostly my obsession. London. Yeah. yeah, I've shot in lots of other places, but London and New York. What do you think about the look of like major rock and roll? Is it more? Is it weirder now? Is it less weird? I mean, obviously, people are doing things It's contextually weird. different, you see, because nothing's too weird now. No, well, you know, you see, do your thing. In, you dress up in your giant platform shoes. But back in those days, something with David Bowie, when he first started his mission, he was... Uh, well, that, that, was a, that was a statement. Yeah. That was like, uh, I mean, stuff like that. He's so but that's 19, well, 1978. That's what I've actually remastered that. That's a classic. That's amazing. Yeah. She still looks, she looks kind of like that stuff. She looks amazing. Well, she's prepared to have a facelift or two. Yeah, she is. And she'll she's tell you about it. But she's I think that's her job. She's a performer. She shows up in public. I think that's that her team. job. She hasn't lost a bit of her persona. She's, no, exactly. She's exactly like no, she No, she's got the thing. If you got the persona, yeah. you can always make it. Just so you take, uh, you know, you take all kinds of shots. You take performance shots, traveling shots, studio shots. Do you, do you prefer any sort of a situation where you're more comfortable? Well, it's not about more comfortable because I'll take performance pictures. No, I took some the other night. I don't do it so often, um, but I can still do it. It's like you go. Well, it's a bit like sex. But you don't do it. But when you do it, you do it with a good will. <laughs> that's, and it's the same with the work. You do it with a good will or don't fucking do it. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I mean, I probably, I like the direct one-on-one. -on -one. Sure. But when I can interest yeah, and I even say I take parties, I don't really do that for months. 
not like maybe I did with years ago. But, um, but what I like is a session like a Korean. You know, I'm a Korean art in the sense that, you know, I can feel my way around mm -hmm. and I can savour the subject because it's them and me. Yeah. Like, it takes a certain energy to focus the subject down into the thing, into the pocket. What, what's his name? Stanislavski. Yeah. I never studied photography, but I did read some other kinds of books. And a friend of mine was an actor, and he had, he knew about Stanislavski. You know who Stanislavski was? He was the godfather of the Method School of Acting. He was a Russian who wrote books like an actor prepares about stage and stage crafting. You know, whatever became the method, right? right? All that Moody, De Niro, Brando, even Marilyn, you know, all that stuff. Really, yeah. um, and he would be, I just remember this one simple um, paragraph where he writes about, he's talking about acting, but it's the same thing. Talking about taking a disparate bunch of people into a raw space and building the circle of concentration. And after a while, there is a transformative thing. And then these other things happen almost spontaneously, but you first you've had to stir the pot. And then you know, the spontaneity can happen. The, what you then my my focus is sharper than and I see a lot of things. <laughs> so I don't like to work in very I mean I do sometimes, but a lot of the time work in simpler circumstances of that. Yeah, sometimes I've done it several elaborate things, but if you let if you get me off the leash, I kind of go for the throat. I like it. Have you ever have you ever shot somebody who just didn't translate into into the two D? Like they were amazing performing. You you No 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 different. some people are harder to find. But I'm gonna nail them on my house. How do I mean, you do nah, that? If you have somebody like that, you, you have, have the feeling that's happening. You have to slight stalk them with your eyeballs, you have to like keep them moving about, a little bit here, a little bit there, distraction there. Debbie once wrote something about she said, um, if Nick Rock were a drag queen, I thought, his name would be Miss Direction. <laughs> <laughs> and she thinks, but it's a distinctive thing. It's really like a, a dog hunting for a rat. Oh, I'm like, you know, chewing and tasting. And, uh, and it, because I'm, but I'm, it's going to get there. It doesn't right. never go, I don't go, oh my god, no, this isn't going to work. Oh, fuck it, it's going to work. Yeah. Whether you like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> so but I, you don't let, give people that you like or not. You have to be more wily. Do you let people see what you're shooting? Do you shoot digitally? Sometimes. I do both. I still uh, shoot a bit of film. There she is. She's a dark. I'm just a dark. Dark Bob Dylan.
still having a, a rock and roll guitar in the mix, you know. Yeah. Talk about Theophilus London and Janelle Monet. I love her. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, when I saw her. What the energy, just, yeah. <laughs> No, I mean, in a way, you know. Well, she's, she's a thing, and her style is beautiful. She's like a, definitely like a little, um, a whimsical creature, like this one. Yeah, yeah. Totally different. Uh -huh. Superstar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one is, actually is superstar, but she's, she, you know, tosses it on the table. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm having fun. I like my
keeper than yeah. Joan Jett, yeah. based on my other yeah. yeah. from yeah. yeah. Kate Moss, that was oh, very yeah. popular. That's beautiful. Looks like candy, I guess. Yeah. And yeah. based on Transformer. Yeah. And based on a very young Madonna photograph. Yeah. And while that was a bit of a knockoff, I have to admit, yeah. <laughs> she's available. Yeah. Paul McCartney. Tim Curry, Rocky Horror, yeah. Mort Barney, Sid Ballas, oh, wow. Pink Floyd, and Andy himself, the oh. great master. Did you photograph Andy? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Oh yeah, I'll show you. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, people only know, people know the obvious with me, but they, and it's true of anybody, really. You realise the creative, the Rolling Stones, the Satisfaction, Jumping Jack Flash, I mean, they've done a lot of stuff. Fantastic, yeah. You look like you're having What was I going to show you? You're going to do more Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, one. Andy and Santa. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Become a definitive Lou Reach and Lou and Andy. I did see that on the Yeah. So I've been buggering about it. I mean, it's Kabuki, I've shot. Oh, yeah. And then kind of stuff that I like, more whimsical stuff. Ziggy. Yeah. People want me, I've done a big beautiful Ziggy book with David. I mean, yeah. now people want me to do another one. So maybe use, use some of the stuff that's never been published from Ziggy, but also my photo of David, which I've got a load of. Do you have a book of your photo yeah. art stuff? Not yet. Are you going to? Well, I'd like to, but I've got the, all these other projects going on. That was from like 2002. Yeah, okay. oh, thank you a so it's, it's okay. <laughs> educate. Now you go to my website. You see, it's oh, not yeah, just yeah. a bunch of fucking books. <laughs> <books. laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm stealing it. We're switching. It was fun. It's a pleasure. You should not let her out after dark. But I'll see you at the show tonight. Yeah. I'll see you later. Thank you for hanging out a bit later on. Okay.